How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I am going to show you a, another collab video with the beautiful Amy Miranda and also the beautiful Marlene uh, Glam, and F Glam and Fab over 50. And the video that we're doing this time for the collab is uh, doing a full face of makeup only using three makeup brushes. So if you guys would like to see how I get my look using only three makeup brushes, then stay tuned. Say hi to the world. Say hi to the world. Say hi. <laughs> I think my uh, little guy knows I'm going to be leaving here at some point because I'm going to go with my son and them to to the malls shopping, so I think he knows. So he's not a happy camper. I'm using this to kind of clean off my brush air, my brushes a lot, kind of get the excess stuff off if I need to. I'm gonna use my foundation brush, definitely need that. Um, I'm gonna use my blending brush. I figured some of the other products I'll work with and pack them on my lids and everything. And then the other brush I'm going to be using is this brush here. I use to contour and put my blush on. So those are my three makeup brushes I'm going to be using. I think the first thing, I already primed myself up because um, I put my face primer on and all those kind of things. I think I'm just going to go ahead and work with putting some eyeshadows on. This is an old palette that I have from Tarte. It was a holiday palette. I'm going to use this palette here to create a look. Right, so I'm going to set everything with my eyes with a cream colored a cream colored shadow that's in here. I'm not sure the name of these shadows because it's on the paper but I'm using a cream color. I see what kind of mattes are in here. I think I'm going to use this because I'm going to go for this purpley shade that you'll see here. Uh, I'm going to work this in my crease area. Haven't got to use this palette that much. A couple of times, but not a lot. Hmm. Not liking how that color is not settling in there, but we'll work with it right now. But I might use this shade right here that's more of a um, color that might show up better. That might be why this palette I don't use much because I don't think it was all that. For me, Tarte eyeshadows are hit and misses, honestly. I'm not always very, you know, happy with the palettes that they have out. I know lately people like the other ones that came out the mat and that I haven't tried those so I can't I can't say anything about those ones right now. I'm gonna use a little bit of this darker brown color that's in the palette. I feel like I must have to at this point to work it in for my crease area. I'm dipping into two different colors to try to work something here. I'm dipping into a darker brown, but it just reminded me of why I wasn't so big on this palette. And I'm going to dip into this purple shade that you see right there. It's actually an orchid shade. I'm going to tap that on here. I'm going to dip my finger in there and kind of work with it a little bit more. I'm going to use my, as you guys know, my Lunier from L'Oreal, my eyeliner.
I'm going to use some of my Mally eyeliners, you know me, with those. This one's Brown Noser. Uh, I'm using that to tight line. I'm going to use that purple shade that I used before, the purple red. That's what it's called. I don't know if I see really any redness to it, but that's what it's called. And I'm going to do it in my waterline. The Fully Charged Mascara from Pure Cosmetics. Of course, this part, again, I'll probably add it because I don't feel like everyone wants to see, so I apply mascara on all the time. I'm going to work on the brows using my Arch Architect thing from Tarte. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and use my CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Foundation. Okay, so that's my foundation brush I used. This one is the Cancellation Conditioning Concealer from Mally. You can barely even see anything on it anymore. I don't think, even think she has this one anymore. She does have her Cancellation Concealer, but I don't think she has this one anymore. So I'm going to use some of that for under the eye area. All right, this product here I'm going to use is a Kat Von D, um, the Shady Bronzer. This is an old bronzer of hers. There is a brush in here, but I'm not going to use this brush. There's like one of these kind of brushes, but I'm not going to use that one. But it's a bronzer here. I'm going to use this brush here, which is my third brush that I'm going to be using. I use my foundation brush to do my foundation and everything. And of course, you've seen I used my shading brush to put on a lot of my eyeshadows. So I'm going to use this now to bronze. Gonna rub some of the product off. And then in the whole Kat Von D thing, I'm using one of her older blushes that she used to have, these ones here. This one is in Truth. It's her Everlasting Face Shaper uh, blush. So this is what I'm gonna use for my blush. And it's more of a neutral shade. That's kind of why I went with it. All right, to do any highlighting <clears throat> along my cheeks or anything like that. I'm using the um, Shimmery, Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is like a little deluxe sample I have in Opal. And always the high points of my cheeks. Okay, I'm gonna use more of my mascara on my bottom lashes. Uh, the next color, uh, or the next thing I'm going to use is my, it's like one of those Sephora liquid lip, I think these are one of the liquid lip stains or something like that, cream lip stain. Uh, this one's in some kind of lilac color, I can't quite remember the name of it, but I can put the name of it down below. And I'm going to set my makeup. I'm going to set my makeup with my Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. So that's the look, guys, that I came up with using three of my makeup brushes. 
my foundation brush, my blending brush, and my blush bronzer one that I use today. So, all right, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to check out Amy Miranda and also Marlene. Their links will be down below. Go and check them out, show them some love, subscribe. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would make me so happy and I appreciate it very much. Also, if you did come from the channels, thank you uh, for joining me. I hope you guys stick around and join me each week. I do put videos up each week. Um, it depends on what it's going to be, but mostly I do have Wednesday what I'm liking, not so much what I'm liking, and not so much videos up. So that's usually every Wednesday, and then it's just random from there, pretty much. Um, so thank you so much, and just don't forget to hit and click the subscribe button. And as always, views, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.